Hi folks and welcome to Vapor Clean in-house videos. Uh, glad you're here with us today. I'm Ned and uh, today's featured piece of equipment for us will be the uh, Vapor Clean Desiderio Plus. This is a fantastic piece of equipment and when it comes to technology in the marketplace this truly is by design the most impressive piece we've ever seen. Folks nobody on the market right now has anything like the Desiderio Plus. It is truly an amazing piece of equipment with three totally separate functions, one being steam, one being vacuum, and one being injection. So we were told that you couldn't do all three of these functions off of a 110 circuit. So we'll do just that. From your Desiderio hose, all three of these functions can be accessed right here on the hose handle. Steam. And now I'm going to push the vacuum. And you'll see the peanuts that I put in the line start to stir in the bottom of the unit. And now that I've got the vacuum on, you can see the bottom of the unit start to stir. I'm going to go over here to this water bucket, which is a little over a half gallon of water. And watch how fast this thing sucks up this water. Look at the bottom of the unit. This is your primary water filtration system. Any dust, dirt, or debris vacuumed up through this unit will be sent right through this water filtration system, and it captures most of everything that goes in there. And anything else possibly missed would be captured by the back HEPA filter or the exit filter at the back of the unit. Okay, so now I'm steaming, I'm still vacuuming, and I'm going to inject at the same time. And by doing this, this shows you that what they said couldn't be done by all three running simultaneously has been done. Now folks, the injection is actually a cold water solution, but when introduced to the steam when running simultaneously, it creates a hot water solution that allows you to break down some of the deeper, heavier stains and allows you to pull it out with the vacuum function in the end. Now see, this is a hot water solution that we've created, and even though it's a really cheap thermometer, you kind of get the idea of how hot this can become in a very short amount of time. Now granted, right here we're looking at about 160 degrees and coming down to 140, but originally uh, we were sitting around 200 degrees, and we've recorded it higher than that with much better thermometer as well. All right, well, we're still running the vacuum, and you can see the water in the reservoir as it cyclones around. Let's pick up the sand pile. And here in a second, you can see actually the change in color of the water at the bottom of the filtration system. Uh, you can see the sand located in the bottom or getting trapped in the bottom. And once dust and dirt and allergens are trapped in the bottom of the unit, that same cyclonic action virtually pins down everything to the center of the uh, reservoir down here. Alright, well let me move on and clean up some of this moisture in the area for me messing around with this. And let's get to something we can really sink our teeth in. Something you can really, really see. Okay, so what we're going to do now is switch over to our upholstery tool. And let me grab a couch cushion over here. Set it down for a second. Kind of give you an idea of what the machine's capable of doing. Uh, just simply with dry steam vapor. At 300 to 315 degrees, and one pass. Look at that clean, would you? I mean, if you're into clean and you can't see that, you need to go see a doctor to make sure your heart's still beating. That's amazing right there. So folks, this is pretty neat. This is why the uh, three functions here is totally amazing. I just shot injection in there, and that's going to soak down into the, into the cushion a little bit. But then I turn the vacuum on, and look at this pull. Look at the bottom of the reservoir it's not spinning at all. That means it's 100% suction until that actual hose comes up off this cushion and catches air. I'm sure you can imagine what kind of vacuum pull that is. Alright, so let's switch it out a little bit. Let's try this little attachment. It's called a turbo brush. It's vacuum driven. It's got a beater bar just like your regular vacuum cleaner. And it's got the ports available for injection, steam, and vacuum all at one time. So here I go with some injection. And there's my steam as well as your turbo brush being operated by vacuum drive. So I'm thinking probably by now, if you've watched a video this long, you're starting to get the idea of exactly why a three function machine is so impressive and so important. To have those three functions, the steam vacuum and injection, is an amazing tool to have in the residential and as well as the commercial world. You can see how it did this cushion and you can also put that imagination to work in your home, your drapes, your bed, your pillows, your cars, your floor mats. It doesn't really matter. 
Although compact in size, the Desiderio models pack a huge punch in the world of cleaning. And so with a combination of basically a bug and a bow, you now have a beast at about one third the cost. Another added bonus to the Desiderio is just simply using it as an air filter for a certain room. By using it that way, you take the hose and remove it, and everything's trapped in the water filtration system in the basin below, as you're looking at, and then has to pass through another HEPA filter before it's released into the atmosphere. Okay, so at this point you're probably wondering, what else can a Desiderio do? Well, we designed it to be more like a smartphone. In saying that, more like a smart steamer. Functional, yet versatile. And we showed you the functions before, now let's show you a little versatility. See this hose right here I'm about to attach? This hose comes from another model that we sell here. It's strictly a steam hose, but it's also longer and more lightweight, plus you get the availability of all the attachments that go with this unit, or this hose, as well as the ones that come standard with the Desiderio. Well, I'm glad you made it with me this far, and watching this piece of equipment be used. I know it's a little bit longer video than what we normally have. However, there is quite a bit of difference between this and the regular units that we sell. And as much as I'd like to believe that this video here is just as important as your wedding video or maybe your son's bar mitzvah, yeah, probably not. We're still really glad that you got a chance to watch this video with us. Hope it's really informative. And you've got about six minutes left of video on the back side here. We're going to show you a couple things. Basically an impossible floor mat to clean because it was completely ruined by oils and grease and battery acid. And then to a home where the carpet looked fantastically clean already, we ran a vacuum cleaner over it prior to using Desiderio, but was it really clean? We'll show you. So here we go. Alright, so here we go with the floor mat. Now we've sped this up for obvious reasons, but again, the, the mat was completely ruined by the acids and, and so on. And so we're not actually taking this video or showing you this video for what is happening to the surface of the mat. We're going to show you this video because of what's being pulled from the mat. Now, we're going to totally saturate this, and if you can see along the sides, it's blowing out battery acid from this mat. It's pretty bad stuff. So even though it's completely and totally ruined, or was completely and totally ruined, the mat is actually starting to come back to life a little bit. So here's where it gets ugly. This is totally, totally amazing. This is a single floor mat. That's how bad that floor mat was. That is absolutely disgusting. So here I am, I'm, you can see the dirt I'm pouring in. And to be quite honest, at this point, I was thinking to myself, you know, maybe I shouldn't stick my thumb in here. I'm going to have to ask for hazardous duty pay. I mean, I really thought I was going to have to have a tetanus shot after this. Now watch this. Would you ever have expected, after looking at the first initial video portion of that mat, that there would be that much dog hair in there? The dirt was one thing. Look at how much dog hair was pulled out of this mat. Yuck. Have you seen enough? Well, let's move on to the clean house. Alright folks, so let's take a different approach to this. We're using a homeowner central vac, which generally tends to be a good pulling unit, to go over this carpet prior to the Desiderio. Now this homeowner happened to have a, a large breed dog that has very bad skin dandruff poor guy. Uh, really, poster child for a head and shoulders commercial. But anyhow, we're uh, going to move on to the clear view tool here. And you can see the desert area we just turned on the vacuum and it's got crystal clear water down at the bottom of the reservoir. Now we're only going to do about a 4x4 four four area here. And this is mostly the type of carpet cleaning you're going to do with a desert area because it is more precise. Um, if you go to like the big box stores and, and you rent something like a Rug MD or, or another unit similar to that, they basically just inject a lot of hot water into your carpet and a lot of shampoo, which you don't need, and, and you really never get that out. The shampoo stays there forever, and the water that's left over saturates your carpet so badly that it usually takes two to three days to dry out properly. 
hopefully you won't create any mold spores that are below there and then you have a bigger problem than what you had before you clean your carpet in the first place. So in essence what you're doing with the Desiderio by injection, steam, and vacuum is you're killing all the bacteria, dust mites, allergens, and you're pulling up all the trash that has been stored in your carpet for such a long period of time. It may be smaller areas, but in fact you are cleaning far superior than what you would be with any other type of equipment. So let's see what's hidden down in the bottom of our Desiderio now. Ooh, there you go. That was a clean carpet until we hit it with a Desiderio and found out it really wasn't that clean. Well friends, we're glad you could join us for this video version of uh, Vapor Clean In-House. Uh, again, I'm Ned signing off. Any further questions you may have or information you may need can be found in the tab section on the page below.